Hello, welcome to Norgeson, a new art experience taking paint by numbers to a new level. These kits are made so you can practice different painting techniques and learn how to mix colors. When we paint an original painting, we start with creating a sketch guide. Then we fill the sketch with the blocks of paint. Sounds familiar? Yes, the concept is pretty much like traditional paint by numbers. But now is when the fun starts. We work with these blocks. We create texture. Washes. Layers. And use different blending techniques. Every sketch in the new art experience will have video instructions that show how and where to use the different techniques. So first out is the skin saver. This kit will teach you how to easy mix and blend your own skin colors. In the skin saver kit you will get two canvases, one blank and one with instructions on how to mix and blend, paint in tubes, three brushes, 18 empty pots, a marker pen and a palette. Let us start with the video instructions. To mix the first skin base colors we use the tube 8 and 11. The total amount of paint should be enough to fill two empty pots. Let us show you why. First, add paint from the tubes. Equal amount of paint and mix them together with a brush. So this is going to be your first skin base color. Half of this is going to be used for the second color that will be brighter. And remember, this is art and not mathematic. Don't stress with getting the equal parts 100% equal. Make them approximately the same size and you will get a great result. So then gently pull half of the paint over in the paint pot. Your first skin color is ready. Then Use the brush to pull all leftover paint to the center of the palette. This is so you easier can estimate how much paint that it left. Then add equal amount of paint from the white tube and mix them together with the brush. When you create shades of a color, it is much easier to make it brighter because then you can work with equal parts. Darker colors are much more dominant. So if you work the other way and want to make darker shades with black, you have to work with huge ratio differences. Equal parts, including black, would give you an almost black result. So we go brighter. Do the same as before. Half of paint goes into the paint cup. This is your second skin color. And Gather all the paint in the center of the palette so you get an estimate of how much paint that's left. And add an equal amount of white. I think you start to understand the drill. Next shade ready, pull half into the paint pot and just continue the same procedure until all paint pots are filled. And when you're done filling the pots, use the marker pen, mark them with the correct label. So next skin base color, same procedure, but now we have three colors. Equal amount of paint, 
for each color and you will get your next skin base. And same here, the total amount of paint should be enough to fill two empty pots. Just use the brush gently when you mix the paints together and you will see it develop, develop into a great, great new skin color. And yes, same procedure as before. Put half of the paint into the paint pot. Use the second half for the next brighter skin color. And when you're done mixing, test your new colors on the test sheet. It's much easier to see the color painted on canvas than in the paint pot. So this is a good, good reference for future works. And then the fun part, mixing. You see, we have some circular movements and squares. It's A, B, C. The circular movements is how you mix the paint together. Go down in center, clean your brush, go up on the side, up on the other side, clean your brush, remember clean a lot, down in the center, up on the side, repeat until you have a nice mix, a nice blend. And when you're done with this, use the fan brush to smooth it even more. You see, the fan brush is pretty wide, so you can go with one side of the fan brush on the left side, use the center in the center, right on the right, flip it around and you have a new clean side and repeat it again. This is very, very good for smoothing it out. So let's start. Normal paint pan number, fill the blocks with the two variations. Make sure that the paint is wet in the center and then start circular movements. Remember, clean the brush, go on the side. Clean the brush because the brush would have darker paint now and that would ruin the blend. So clean the brush often. Go down in the center and up on the sides. And when you feel you have a good result, finish it with a fan brush and smooth it out even more. Flipping, around, flipping the brush around, smoothing more, perfect. So yeah, just continue. This is for practicing, so you need to practice. Add a little extra of the old paint, of the old color, of the fresh paint, so you get the wet and wet. Circular movements. Don't, uh, don't be hard on the brush, just gently circular movements. Clean the brush, repeat, repeat, repeat.
make sure that the fan brush is clean when you do the smoothing. And just continue. The fields are getting smaller and smaller and it all depends on what size brush you are comfortable with. For the smaller areas, a smaller brush might be good to use. You will get less mess. Making sure the corners are wet, the corners of the two different colors. And removing the little extra paint and start circular movements. Yes, I messed up. I used a too big brush, so I'm going on with a smaller one. I cannot say it enough. Just remember, clean the brush. Especially when you go from a darker color to a brighter. If you take a little of the darker, it gets mess. Messy. And then fan brush smooth out. Ooh, darker color. Yes, I forgot to clean the brush. Let us say I did it on purpose. So, clean the brush, then try to fix. Fixing is easy. Try gently, remove paint, and then add the correct color over. You might also wait until it dries and then paint over. This is, you will figure out the best way for you by practicing. This is an exciting hobby project for us. We make videos, we create the designs, and we print, pack and ship the kits ourselves. All done in our little studio here in Norway. We will try to answer questions as quickly as possible. But please understand, we do most of the production and support on the weekends when we have free time. And yes, if you like this video and our product, Please share them with your friends and support us with the buying a kit. See ya!